Okay, so um, I took my nails off and I got some really good stuff from Fat Fit Fun. Uh, let's see. God, my eyes are really bad. Okay, we're in my room right now. I'm looking for the tarot cards. See, I got these on Amazon because I am very um, spiritual and I'm going through a lot of changes right now. So I'm learning tarot so that I could ask myself questions about myself. Stay there, Munchie. Stay, Munchie, stay. These dogs are just too much. Uh, she's on my sweater. There's Honey. Where's, Daisy? Where's Lily? Oh, there she is. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm learning tarot. Oh no, I did the little thing. Okay. So, um, I, I laid out today and I'm on a lot of medication, so I tend to just break out. But, um, back to the basics. Um, I just wanted to say that it's Easter tomorrow and I wonder what kind of surprise Megan has, but, uh, you know, cooked up for us tomorrow. I'm sure she'll make some kind of announcement or release some type of statement because, you know, she wants privacy. Anyhow, um, I made that lasagna. It was super good. I posted some pictures on my Facebook. Um, yeah. My hands are still very bad, but I got new gloves, more disposable ones. God, my hands are, are bad still. I don't know. Um, I thought about maybe doing a bleach streak. Oh, Scout, what are you doing? Uh-oh. <laughs> Dry oregano. I don't know. Anyways, um, I still kind of have a bad little cold. I got my um, mold, excited about that. I get it in two weeks. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos. There's one on Good Morning America recently. It's very recent because I only like to watch brand new videos. Occasionally I'll watch an old one, but I don't really like to because it kicks me into a different algorithm and then I'm like cut off from the actual current events that I need to stay on top of. Um, one of those current events is Mexico right now. They're doing really bad with the narco wars. Um, they have, uh, she's having a conniption. I don't know why. Why are you having a conniption? Scout? Huh? Um, she's funny. The reason I pulled the camera out is because she was wandering around. At, they just had dinner. She was wandering around, and then Duke got done with his dinner and was drinking water. So she went over to drink water, and then Duke started walking away from the water bowl, and she just did like a quick about face and went like, rushing past him to her food because she thinks he's going to eat her food. He does eat her food, but he doesn't do it. Well, he does do it in front of her. He does it, like, in her face. So, yeah, she's got valid reason to run past him, but it was funny the way she did it. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about my hands. I've lived like this my whole life, so what can I do now? I know. Uh... I've been thinking about opening up an only an OnlyFans. 
see what kind of um what kind of uh feedback I get there. Anyway, yeah, this is a really boring video. Um 27 bodies this weekend. Then there was like five shot dead cops, Mexican cops. Um and all of those were ambushed, meaning they were sought after, they were apprehended, and then they were executed. And it was not, um, it was a balacera, which means, you know, in Spanish, it means like a sh straight up, like, shootout. So, um, when I was a little girl, I remember, you know, a lot of the, well, the elderly people used to talk a lot about the... Mexican Revolution, and so, um, L Lily, get over here, Lily, come here, leave her, leave her, scout, leave her, Lily, come here, Lily, come on, baby, come here, come here, Lily, stop that, don't do that, come here, baby, it's okay, you're okay. Um, I'll put them away in a little bit because it's about that time for them. They want to go to bed. So I have to let them out. It's 8 o'clock, which is what I do. Okay, everybody, time to go pee. Let's go pee. Let's go, guys. Everybody, pee pee time. Come on, Munchie. Come on, Daisy. Come on, Lily. Come on, buddy. Um, Minnie. So, yeah. Scout, it's not time to play. It's time to go pee. Come on, let's go pee, guys. Everybody, let's go. Come on. So, yeah, they're going to go pee. And I'm going to get them to bed. I already filled their bowl for water. Look at what they do to me every day. So, every day I got to come out here and I got to rinse that because they, they pee right at the door. Go, go pee. Hurry up, go pee. Go, go, Minnie. Go. Go, Minnie. I'm going to shut the door. No, go pee. Hurry up. Okay, so the next door neighbors have a little baby. They're having a little baby. Um, what is that called? Oh, look, I did. I made, I made the lasagna. It was good. Okay, Duke's back. No, honey's back. Let's see where they went. My husband hasn't bought... My husband needs to, <laughs> you guys were up my nose. My um, husband hasn't bought a new hose, so. No, Duke, come around. Go around, Duke. Um, Duke. <laughs> okay, I'll let you in. Oop. Okay, hurry up. So, uh, yeah, you know, you got to keep going. So, thinking of starting another business. Come on, Duke, get inside. That business is going to be for me because um, I already created a business for my dogs, remember? Okay, so let me put you down. I haven't decided what kind of a business, but I already know what I want to do, and um, I want to report, you know? So, like, maybe an entertainment jet news site or something. I don't know. Um, I need a web developer, though, and I need somebody to come over here and fix. Look, she's doing... <laughs> Scout! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> She did what I said she would do. Okay, so um, here's what's going on. I have to be self-sufficient, you know, um, keep going because if you don't use it, you lose it. Oh, I hate that. And that. Okay, um, I got my fat fit, fab fit fun. There's the box. Um... I don't know if I'm going to open it on video. It should probably be a good idea because it's good content. Um, yeah. So, tomorrow's Easter. Uh, 
I have to go back to the dentist in two weeks to pick up my partial. Then I asked about my abutment. They said that they're not going to tell me about that yet. Whatever. So I have to wait until after I go back to the dentist to see what it is that uh, I have to wait for. Because I should be ready to get my abutment like already, like coast clear and everything. Um, although I still have a little bit of a, a post nasal. It's not post nasal, like it's actual nasal discharge, and it's clear, so I'm good on that. Um, I can't wait to see how my face changes after I get that that piece. <laughs> No, really, I can't wait. Um, I'm excited. I've seen some quite a few videos where the people cry when they like get their piece in, so it's kind of weird because I don't think I'll cry, but you know, it remains to be seen. It really does. Oh, I cleaned, so I had to put that the dog uh, toy bag back on the floor um it's so funny so yeah um i'm gonna look different i still want some um a big lips i need bigger teeth anyways uh My hands are a mess. Oh my God, the sun was so nice. I fell asleep out there. I tried to read, but I only made it three cards in on the tarot. Um, it's gonna be quite fun. You know, uh, this whole situation with Meghan Markle is still dominating the news. Um, you know, she's kind of growing on me, kind of in a weird way, but it's, I, I'm not completely sold on her. I'm all, I actually believe, and you could call me crazy, this is just, you know, obviously solely for entertainment purposes, that this woman is, um, you know, she's trying to clean up her act, trying to change the narrative, trying to make us believe something other than what's true. And, She's doing a good job at it. You know, 17 million people watched that, you know, episode of Oprah. So, um, you know, Oprah's trying to clean up her act. She's been linked to Epstein and, you know, uh, that other guy's name. I forget. Wise something or other. Anyhow. Um, and, you know, these... I googled Meghan Markle and Epstein today, and Epstein, M Meghan Markle, Epstein yacht photos came up. So I'm like, geez, you know, what is, how can I possibly, like, change my tune, you know? Like, could, could I be that girl that says, hey, I've changed my mind about Meghan Markle because she's trying really hard and I want to give her a break. Sort of like how Serena Williams said, you know, oh, I think she's the strongest woman in the world. Um, yeah, I, I tend to agree because there's a, that all the negativity that follows and surrounds her constantly, I mean, it is what it is, you know, she went out there, she lied, she not lied on national television, 17 million people watched her do it, but there's 7 billion people on the planet, so... Uh, you know, today I had a couple of thoughts that weren't so crazy. You know, one was, what if one of them dies? What if both of them die? What if one kills the other one and no one ever finds out? You know what I mean? Like, there's so many things that could happen. Um, and it's really scary. And I can't imagine the queen not having a handle on it. I can't imagine that the queen um, isn't aware of the kind of, you know, con that Meghan Markle turned out to be. Because what we see 
just based solely on who she is as a person, we see that she's a very driven person. She was driven to the palace. She was driven inside the palace. And she, you know, maneuvered her way in so that she was able to show up unannounced at the Queen's, right? And had to learn how to curtsy. I mean, if Princess Anne was on to her, does that mean the Queen was on to her? Because the Queen started her reign at the age of 25. When I was 25, let's see, I had an eight-year-old. So the Queen has been, you know, reigning. I mean, I think she's the longest uh, reigning monarch, you know? And uh, ever. What? No, no, I don't want to play with you right now. Lily, Lily's being... Lily wants attention. I know, honey, but I think that they sleep in my bed, and I think that, you know, I don't know, because I don't want to think about it. But also, I'm on a lot of medication, so this, the red stuff is from going outside today. I got some sun. I'm going to get dark. Um, <laughs> because dark skin is not, you know, illegal. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on in my life. Where are you going, Lily? Minnie. Hi, Daisy. Yeah, look at my arm. So I took Honey in to the, um, I took Honey into the groomers yesterday. And, um, her coat was dirty and I held her because it's on a big street. And so she had to, I didn't want to lose her. But she got a puppy cut. No, not a puppy cut, a summer cut. And then I have to take Daisy in at some point. And then these two have to go also for their nails. Um, I haven't learned how to do I learned how to do it, but this one doesn't let me. That's Lily. And then Hamini, I did minis yesterday, and I did it with just a regular clip. But, um, so that's what's going on here at the, at Hash, Honey and Scout's home. We call it Hash now. So, um... No, Mama, I can't kiss you because I'm getting work done on my teeth. I can't have bacteria in there. There's 13 different types of bacteria in your mouth. Did you know? I learned that the last time I got my, my teeth scraped. So I'm getting a piece. It's going in the back. I'm excited, but not really. Um, I'll be more excited when I get the abutments. I think I'm going to get four. One, two, three, four. No, there's nothing on the bottom. Just one, two, and three. Yeah. So four, I don't know. Anyway, the front teeth are all good, but I want them capped. Um, what that means is I want cr like the crown so they, they become, I want them to come down a little bit lower. I have to wear a night guard at night, so that's gonna be, um, that will be the defining moment in, in as far as if I even do anything to the front teeth. Um, but I want longer teeth. I want a, I want like a more noticeable smile when I smile. I also know that it's going to change my voice because, you know, um, it's just going to change the way my words come out, it, like, you know, tone-wise. So I'm excited about that. I need to stop smoking, obviously, because um, it's not good when you smoke because, you know, you've got to heal, and when you have to heal... They advise that you seriously don't do that. So that's um, another thing I have to work on. Um, but I had a really nice day today outside in the water. I didn't go swimming because it was really cold. The water was really cold. But I did lay out for a couple of hours. And, um, and I had a good day. It was a good, 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 good day. But I'm still excited. I'm excited because I want to start another business, which means that will be my third YouTube channel. Um, and I haven't decided if I want to pay for YouTube yet. Um, I know that will if, if I pay for YouTube, it will you know 
push me into a different algorithm. But, you know, wh why do I have to pay, you know? It's free. Why do I have to pay? I mean, I'll pay, but I want to know why. Why do I have to pay, you know? Can you still make it? Um, I haven't even been on YouTube a, a month yet, I think. Well, I've been on YouTube since 2012, but I didn't start, like, you know, actually uploading regularly until I started the business with these girls. And so um, that's Honey right there on my Oxnard jersey. It's a little hoodie that I got when I went to the Oxnard um, fair. What do they call that? It's not like... It's a fair, but they call it something else. Um, so, yeah. And I want to get some new jewelry. I probably want to... I would like to go down to the jewelry mart to get jewelry. Um, there used to be a girl that I knew down there named Lupe. So maybe I'll go see her and upgrade, huh? I have a diamond I might want to upgrade. Um, my, my eyes still really look... Like, the day after I woke up, my eyes were really, like, from the first day of allergies. Um, they actually, like, really swelled up all the way down here. And so I took a picture, but I'm still kind of embarrassed about it. Um, and then I have to figure out how to load it. So um, I've been thinking about getting a new car because my car is 10 years old. I've had it since... 2010. Um, actually, I got it in July of 2009. And the reason I got it was because from 2007 to 2009, I leased a vehicle. So what I would like to do is not lease another vehicle, but that's probably what will end up happening. And put it under my business name because my dogs are my business and I want a little car that I could, you know, put my dogs in the back of the truck and, and, and drive them to like, you know, a nice little area where we could, you know, watch the wilderness. Um, I know it sounds kind of kooky, but I have a lot of dogs and they need to get out, you know? Um, I'm going to get one of those little tents for babies for them and just stick them in there. And then maybe bring, like, their metal corral. Because my sister, that's probably what happens when I f screw up my, my eyes. Screw up my eyes. I rub them really hard. That's called no bedside manner. When someone is very rough at the hands and the touch to you, it's, you know, if they were a nurse, they probably would not make it in the field. <laughs> That's called no no bedside manner. So if you ever have like a rough nurse, you know, when you complain about her or him, you could say, you know, their bedside manners was very poor. Um, but yeah, abrasive, which is another um, word that they're using these days to describe Meghan Markle. She's abrasive. Wow, that's a rough one. I'm abrasive. It happens. <laughs> um so yeah, I'm getting teeth. I can't wait. Um, and and then I want to um, obviously go and see a girl about tatted eyebrows because I'm over it. Um, and then I also want to do a the the tat the tattoo liner and the lips. So um, if you guys know of anybody. Put it in the comments. Let me know um, where to go because I never leave my house. It's been, you know, a couple... I've been monitoring the situation with the, this, you know, obvious, you know, world pandemic. And it's just been a really rough couple of years for me because... Um, actually, today I got this video. I have to figure out how to load it. Of my trip to um, Oregon in 2019. And it was right before I came back from visiting my brother. Um, well, I took this video on that trip. But after I came home from visiting my brother, I had an experience on the plane with, excuse me, with this, you know, Asian lady. 
she was wearing a mask, and I was one of the few people that was wearing a mask on the plane because, you know, I was just being careful. And then, um, and then she and I caught each other's glance, like, on the way there. And then, um, I even told my brother about it, and he was like, no, you know, Asians always wear masks, which is kind of stereotypical, but... And I even told him, so I said, no, it wasn't that. This way, this time it was different. It was like she was trying to tell me something. And um, I got that scar playing chicken fights. And uh, in the in the bedroom, in our, in our house, when we were um, locked in for rainy, it was a rainy day. So yeah, anyways, my brother thought he... My brother kind of, like, blew me off, but I was serious. Um, yeah, I'd like to get Botox, but I'm scared to. I saw this. If you go on my videos, my liked videos on YouTube, on this channel, I have a ton of stuff. I have over 5,000 videos. I have over 5,000 liked videos. That's not to say however many videos I have that I didn't like which they have a count of that too. That's the reason I came on YouTube after, because you know what? May as well join, you know, the whole YouTube fight, you know? People are doing this because it's all right. You know, you have a right. Um, the Freedom of Information Act, you know, we have a right to free speech, but we also have a right to, you know, share information and knowledge that we learn that we feel that the public benefits from and you know I've taken the course for CNA for nurse for certified nursing assistant and I took that course and passed it and I got my license so I'm you know I'm in the books as a certified nurse and I also am a medical assistant um, I took you know the course but uh, that's not to say I work well I did work in the field but, um, you know, this was before 2013, and after 2013, nothing happened because, you know, I've been under treatment. So, um, that's pretty much it, you know. Um, you've got to do, you whenever you learn something in medical, you know, I don't have a license to teach, but, you know, I can still educate people on, like, you know, washing your hands. The best way to wash your hands is to, you know, sing happy birthday twice. That's how long you should wash your hands. Um, stuff like that. You know, the public benefits from knowing things like this. Um, don't talk to strangers. If you see kids that are out and the adult that they're with seems kind of shady, you know, question it. First question it in your mind and then go ahead and question it you know, to their face. It doesn't mean you have to confront them, but go ahead and let them know that you're watching them, you know? 65,000 children went missing from California just this year. So that means that there's a lot of runaways, right? A lot of kids running away from home. What are they running from? You know, they're running from dangerous situations, you know? Um, I don't know, but I can't imagine why a kid would run unless something was happening to him that shouldn't be happening to him or them. So, you know, these are the things that you have to like, um, these are the things that you have to stay aware of, you know, shady character looks shady. That's cause he is, you know, don't ever second guess yourself. If the guy looks shady or the girl, then they're shady. Trust your instinct. Um, that's always rule number one. There's kids outside, and I'm not used to that. I have dogs. <laughs> I'm used to them, but I'm not used to kids. Um, and that's it, you know? I'm just going to I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and be a consumer this year. I've been a consumer for the last two years. I mean, well, all my life, but for the last two years, I've actually been trying products, you know, based on advertisements so if it looks good and 
I feel like it would benefit me, I buy it. And um, I think Cardi B has a song that's called, that talks about something like that. But anyways, I don't really listen to music these days. Um, so yeah, this year I plan to get out a little bit more. I plan to, um, you know, take advantage of like life because life is short, guys. I, I can tell you life is short. My friend has been actually, you know, talking about a young woman that passed away recently. I don't know how she passed away, but they're having a viewing in um, Mission Viejo, and I just can't imagine anybody, you know, just passing away at 21. It seems like such a long, a young, young age, and he seemed really smitten with her, and I, I just, I felt really bad, and it was heartbreaking, but, um, and I, even though I didn't know the gal, I'm, I'm thinking about going, because something tells me that, you know, Sometimes your pals need your help, and sometimes you don't need to say anything. They just need to see you, you know, and be present. And uh, I've been present for a lot of his good gigs, and this is a bad gig, so I'd like to let him know at some point that, you know, I'm here for him and all that other jazz. Anyhow, I'm married still, so don't get crazy, okay? All right. Um, thanks for watching. Honey, lick it. Honey. Honey. Honey, lick it. Hi, honey.